Hi, this is Peter from the DJ Podcast. The 3.2 update to Mixvibe's Cross DJ lets you mix tracks from SoundCloud with tracks that are on your computer. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to integrate SoundCloud with your track collection and how to mix tracks from SoundCloud in Cross DJ 3.2. Now, the best thing about the integration of SoundCloud in the 3.2 update is that there's no setup required. As long as you have the 3.2 update installed, you're ready to begin. Now on the left hand side of your track browser, you're gonna see a brand new button called SoundCloud. So go ahead and click on that and you'll be presented with the option to connect to SoundCloud. If you already have a SoundCloud account, you can click on connect to SoundCloud and log in with your username and password. By doing so, you're going to be customizing the experience based on all of the information that you already have on your SoundCloud account. It'll give you access to your tracks, favorites, and even your stream for artists that you follow. Now, if you don't have a SoundCloud account, that's perfectly fine too. You can use the SoundCloud integration without it. It's just that if you do use your SoundCloud account, you get a more personalized experience. Now let's take a look at actually finding a track that we want to use in our mix. Now there are two ways to look for tracks. The first is using the explore option here on the left-hand side. You can simply twirl down the option menu and you'll see that there's different playlists essentially for a bunch of different genres of songs and they're also based on popularity. So if we want, for example, disco songs, we can simply click on disco and you'll see that the playlist is populated with 100 tracks based on that genre or tag. There's also a playlist called popular music and that again will show you 100 tracks that are based on the popularity of them on soundcloud.com. Now, while it's great that you can quickly get to a genre like drum and bass or electro by going to one of these playlists, it doesn't exactly give you a very specific view of the different tracks that are on the SoundCloud site. And so if you wanna find something specific, we can go ahead and use the search function. Now there's a search box up here on the right side of the track browser and we can do a search for whatever we like, whether that's an artist or a title or a genre. So we're gonna go ahead and search for an artist and a song. So we're gonna go and search for Rebound by Artie, and you'll see that there are no tracks in our search results. That's because when you search with one of the Explore playlists open, it's going to search in that particular playlist and not all of SoundCloud's tracks. So what we need to do is change the search option from only the playlist that we're in to all SoundCloud. And you'll see that it takes a second to connect. And here we have 100 tracks based on the information that we searched for, which was the artist name and the track name. You'll see here that the tracks that we've searched for get all of their metadata information from SoundCloud. So you might get some weird results based on what other people have actually titled their tracks online. You'll also see that information like BPM and key is mostly missing. And that's because if it's not actually on SoundCloud, then you won't get it from the server when it's downloaded. When you find a track that you would like to mix with, you can simply drag and drop it from the SoundCloud browser area directly onto a track deck. Now you'll see that it's going to download the track, analyze it, and then give you a nice pretty waveform that you can start mixing with. It will also add some beat grids to the track automatically, which means that you can start mixing right away. You don't have to do any preparation with it. And again, you can use this just like a track that you have downloaded on your computer. It will show you the BPM information, the key information. You can use loops, cues, effects, everything that you can do in Cross DJ to a track that you have on your computer, you can do to a track that you've downloaded from SoundCloud. What's great is that these tracks are saved to your track collection. So if you go to your track collection, you can see that they are there and these will stay there even if you close Cross DJ and reopen it. So that's an overview of the new SoundCloud integration to the Mixvibes Cross DJ 3.2 update. If you like this video on Cross DJ, be sure to subscribe here on YouTube and check out more of our online DJ education at thedjpodcast.com. Thanks for watching.